and welcome to my garden and this week's episode of Noreen's Garden. Today I wanted to share with you information about two of my favorite products that I use in the garden that are OMRI certified. They're organic, they're used for pesticide and other types of controls and they are diaper dust and diatomaceous earth. I would never be without these in my garden. You can see I buy them in rather large bags but these bags I literally bought two years ago and I use them all the time. I use them for all different types of things and now we're going to go ahead and share with you how we use them, what we use them for. So come on along and take a listen. talk to you about is diaper dust. Now diaper dust is the commercial name of a biological insecticide that's produced by a company called Valiant Biosciences. It has a microorganism in it called Bacillus thuringiensis and it's a subspecies Kerstocki. Okay the insecticide is primarily used to control caterpillar and infestation on crops, orchards, and gardens and diaper dust is completely biodegradable and it is not harmful to humans, bees, birds, aquatic creatures, or other animals. Now we use this in our garden to get rid of um, tobacco hornworm or what they call um, tomato hornworm and also pickle worm. This gets rid of anything that starts out as a larva, turns into a worm, and then later into a moth. So the way that uh, you need to use this is it should be applied to the soil when you plant like I have a horrible problem here with uh, pickle worm eating my cucumbers and any kind of uh, melon that I might plant or squash so in order to get rid of those you dust the ground and the leaves with the diaper dust and you want to do that every time if it rains you want to make sure that you do that every uh, couple of weeks because you want this to remain in the soil. This will actually kill the larva. And um, the, the larva, what it will do is, um, the caterpillars have to ingest diaper in order to die. So when, when inside the caterpillar, diaper causes the stomach and blood poisoning within minutes, and the larva stop feeding in 30 minutes and die within a couple of days. And diaper is as effective as chemical-based insecticides, but is not known to cause environmental damage. And like I said earlier, diaper dust is certified by the Organic Material Review Institute for use on organic crops. And uh, I love uh, diaper dust. It's also useful for, like I said, tomato hornworm, tomato hornworm, tobacco worm, looper, webworm, armyworm, cutworm, leaf roller, and other caterpillars on vegetables, fruits, ornamentals, flowers, and lawns. And uh, after biting a treated portion of the leaf, the caterpillars will stop feeding and then death follows in a couple of days. So that is an excellent thing to have in your garden arsenal because um, it's organic. It's not going to hurt the bees. I mean, that's really important to me. And you'll notice that I do have gloves on. I don't want to touch anything. Uh, you don't want to touch this with your bare hands because it will embed in your skin and you don't want to... Uh, aspirate this or inhale it so if you're transferring it to another container like I do this is just an old spice container that I exhausted I washed it out and dried it completely and make sure if you do this you label it so this says sprinkle on plants and soil to kill worms and caterpillars and their larvae keep out of reach of children and wear gloves when applying it's important for you to label things for yourself much less other people. Um, the reason I use the spice container is because it has this really wide hole uh, sprinkle top and I can easily dust my plants and my soil and my garden uh, with this. Sometimes you get the containers in the store and they have really small holes in them. I like this better and I'm getting to recycle something that I already had. So that's diaper dust. I hope you check it out. You can do lots more research online, um, but I have seen a uh, proven proven results by using this in my garden. I just want to point out that we paid $20 for this 25 pound bag yeah. two years ago and we probably haven't used half of it yet. Oh no. Oh, no. Almost half of it. I don't yes. even think that if you weighed it. Yeah. I so. may have used five pounds of it if that. 
this is going to last me a good long time. You don't want to overuse Dipole, though. I will say that because it, you know, if you overuse it, then it's just not a good idea. We're going to move on now to the diatomaceous earth, which is like the earth's little miracle cure that is available to us. This is a food grade diatomaceous earth that I get at my nursery store. Um, it is acceptable to use this in uh, animal feeds and uh, we give it to our dogs. We use it all over our house. We puff it around the doorways to get rid of bugs. We use it to get rid of ants. And in the garden, you can use it by top dressing your soil to get rid of leaf, uh, leaf chewers like uh, beetles and uh, ants and snails hate it. Slugs hate it. Because what diatomaceous earth is, is a fossilized is uh, made from fossilized water plants and is a naturally occurring, sil um, I can never say this word, siliceous as sedimentary mineral compound from the remains of algae-like plants called diatoms. The plants have been part of Earth's ecology system dating back to prehistoric times, and the chalky deposits the diatoms left are called diatomite. The diatoms are mined and ground up to make a powder that is the look and feel much of talcum powder. Now, my diatomaceous earth is not white, and I'm going to show it to you. My diatomaceous earth looks like this because this is actually food grade diatomaceous earth that has been blended with what they're calling calcium bentonite, which is nothing more than bentonite clay, which is completely ingestible. You can make capsules out of this and take it for your own health. This you can feed to your pets. It eliminates uh, intestinal worms from your dogs and cats. You can dust your animals with this and it will kill fleas. It will kill ticks because anything with an exoskeleton that comes in contact with diatomaceous earth will immediately start to break down. Uh, this will start to break down the exoskeleton because if you looked at this under a microscope, it would look like tiny shards of glass and they start to cut into the waxy outside of an ant's exoskeleton or a beetle's exoskeleton. It'll also start to cut the legs off of them so they die a long, painful death. And, you know, that's a good thing when you're talking about pests. Well, it kind of acts like borax. It, it, in a way, it acts like borax, but borax acts more like an acid uh -huh. than the diatomaceous earth. If you mix this with borax, you would be, it would be an awesome way to maybe treat an anthill over a long period of time. Um, this is a mineral-based pesticide. It is also OMRI certified. Uh, diatomaceous earth, if you get this particular type, which is food grade, it is consumable. If you get any other type, like if you get one that's industrial diatomaceous earth, that is not consumable. So only DE that is considered food grade, has food grade on the label, is the only thing that's safe to give your pets and animals and yourself. Um, you can use this in your garden to uh, deal with insects such as aphids, thrips, ants, mites, earwigs, bed bugs, adult flea beetles, cockroaches, snails, and slugs. To insects, diatomaceous earth is a lethal dust with microscopic sharp edges that cut through the insect's protective covering, just like I said, causing them to dry out and killing them when they are either dusted with the diatomaceous earth or applied in a wet spray form. So what we like to do sometimes, look, we put our, we have large dog food and cat food containers that are, that have like flip top lids and we keep them out on our back deck and we put bags of dog food and cat food in them. Well, in the summertime, sometimes the ants, those little sweet ants, those little black sweet ants, they'll find their way in, and we just will usually put the diatomaceous earth inside the dog food and cat food bins and we'll dust the deck, and the ants will go away uh, in just a matter of hours, and they're gone. They don't like it. The benefit of that is the ants carry the DE back to their, to their nest, mm -hmm. and then... They'll die there, others will consume their dead carcasses, and they'll also die because they'll have been exposed to the diatomaceous earth as well. So you want to make sure you, t you apply this with a dust applicator. Um, you can use a puffer if you like. Frankly, I just go in the garden with my, with my gloves on, and I cast it out of my hand because 
I don't do it very often. I don't find a need to, but I'd say two or three times throughout the summer, I will go out there with the DE and, uh, and just cast it about. Um, you can get it on the plants. It won't hurt them. It's good to top dress the, the soil with it because then anything that kind of crawls through the soil to get up the plant to munch on your homegrown veggies, um, that's going to be exposed to the DE as well. So that is my little presentation on diatomaceous earth. You can get more information online if you do a little research. If you look up DE in the garden or diatomaceous earth and um, you'll be able to educate yourself on the benefits of this for so many things. It's full of minerals and vitamins uh, for yourself. It's really good for you. It's good for your pets. Um, I know several people who actually mix this up in their dog food and we do it too. And our dogs do not have worms. And this is a really great natural remedy to get rid of worms. Of course, if your dog has worms, you should consult a vet um, first so that they can get properly medicated. This should be used as a precautionary measure. We buy this at our locally owned garden center. And I know that when I go there, they have it. And if they don't have something that I want, I can simply ask them for it and they'll get it in for me. So if you have a place like that, you should definitely uh, patronize them because they'll be able to benefit from it too. And we want to keep our local businesses in business. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's my recommendation today. Diatomaceous earth and diaper dust. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. Until next time, happy growing. Bye.